hi there this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of aries hello aries sun moon rising venus signs as well as the cross watcher of the aries we're going to be using the past life oracle deck right now <clears throat> and let's see what comes out wow medicine man or woman so a lot of energy coming through of healing healers healing shaman doctor somebody here has this very keen sense of putting a little bit of this and a little bit of that into sort of a mixture like a potion or like a, a recipe and it's it makes people feel better it's like chicken soup for the soul but it literally might be chicken soup and it goes back to this time period of medicine man or woman where you just knew what herbs and such would be beneficial, health benefits to it. Wow, look what's on the bottom of the deck. High priest or priestess coming in hot. Super fucking strong energy. So someone here was definitely tapped into spirit, tapped into the divine, knew about magic and potions and spells and herbs and things of that sort the right combination of things as well because it's all about the right combination knowing what goes with what there's a strong sense here of rituals sacredness things of that sort apologize about that beeping noise this is for either the the aries or the aries counterpart one of them is very highly connected and tapped into this. The chariot. Well, that's Cancerian, but that's like something just coming in heavy, hot. Something arriving, right? Could be victory. Nine of Pentacles. Someone single, living their best life. Self-made. Someone here could be self-made. The chariot energy here also feels like somebody who is... It's like they're coming, they're coming, it's like, I'm sorry, but it's magnetically attracted to this Nine of Pentacles. Magnetically attracted. The Hierophant, Taurus, but this is marriage and union. Wherever this one goes, that one is sure to follow. That's the vibe. And I'm talking like even in this lifetime, like in this lifetime, if one's reincarnated, the other one is not very far behind. They are always sure to find each other again. Eight of Pentacles, someone who's a really hard worker, feels like they've really manifested a, a beautiful career. This is someone here who's built something from scratch. They've also put in a lot of work. This person also works with their hands. However they do it, they work with their hands. The hermit, Virgo energy. The hermit is, is on a search, right? It's seeking something. Two of Wands. This Two of Wands here is making a choice or decision. And making a decision to leave something behind. <clears throat> to let something go. Leave something behind. There's a choice here that would need to be made. Choosing between old and new. Choosing between stay or go. That kind of a vibe. The sun. The sun is Leo. The sun is also truth, right? Enlightenment. Sun is also the happiest card in the whole deck. It's pure bliss. It's also, it's, it's also like, you know the thing about the, the sunflowers, right, in this card? <clears throat> you know how sunflowers work. <clears throat> sunflowers always follow the sun. I will follow him, follow him wherever he may go. That feels very relevant. There's this like, magnet sort of vibe i will follow him wherever he goes if they go that way i go that way if they go right i go right it's a wand something new is coming in something has been decided upon and it's shifting in someone's 
favor. Shifting in someone's favor. The star. Something's meant to be. That's Aquarius as well. Knight of Swords. Something comes in very quick. Could be a message out of the blue. And the Empress. That is a bad bitch. It's a mother energy. It's also birth of abundance. Very strong energy here of... It's not even like a codependent thing either because there is codependency, toxic, follow, needy, and that's not this. This is some type of just, it's natural vibration of attraction, magnetic to someone. You have yes. The answer is yes. What is that? No. Oh, you have yes and no. You have yes and no. Holy fuck. Remember I said that earlier? It's like, do you want to stay or go? You want to choose the old or the new? It's, it's like you have two choices here. It's yes or it's no. It's old or it's new. What the fuck do you want? That's incredible. That's insane energy, you guys. Three of Autumn. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. Feeling compensated for your creative talents. And then the five of autumn, reach out to others for assistance. Poor timing for a career change. Feeling challenged by many issues. So some of you have this a little bit of a shift in energy or something happening with work. You or this other person. Might be struggling a little bit in the career job work department area. Something of that sort. Ace of Winter, don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately. Amazing new ideas that should be implemented. And then you have release, let go of the past. An ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. See, it is. It's like closing out the old chapter. There's also this sense of coming back to you. Like coming back to to what you know coming back to what you're good at you know that kind of a vibe i'm so sorry about that noise they are doing shit out there they will be all week the butterfly relationship evolving to the next level that's also transformation and the snake competition the other woman having to look over your shoulder seduction attraction flirting Dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. There's a lot of interesting energy here. Despair. See, somebody's going through something career work-wise. can feel it. Maybe they've had to scale back. Maybe they've had to close down a business. Maybe COVID affected their shit. Have to find a new job. Community and marriage. So the community card here feels like a soul tribe. Hold on one second. That noise is getting louder. I think he's going to finally move and call it a day. Hold on. Mm. See how loud it is? They're moving. So I think they're probably done for the day. So actually, why don't we just wait it out? Wow. So you have white wolf, which is confidence, guidance, freedom. This could be somebody's spirit animal, the white wolf. And you also have magnifying glass, getting more info, examining the fine print. Someone here might be a little more skeptical, you know, a little bit more logical. The community is a soul tribe. They, someone here doesn't want to let people down. Maybe they're a business owner, right? They don't want to let people down. And then the marriage thing, someone here could be in a marriage already, a committed 
relation. Yeah, see, look, third party on the bottom of the deck. So could this be where someone's already in another relationship? Yes. Yes. They could have, you guys could have met not intentionally. Again, it's like the sun and the sunflower. It's like, I will follow him. And it's like this un... intentional thing. It's like the souls just are magnets. Do you know what I mean? There's that really strong energy of where one goes, the other just magnetically sort of follows. And it's it's not codependency. That There's a difference between low vibe codependency and that's not this. It just doesn't have that feeling to it of like low vibe codependency. This actually feels high vibed. And the reason it feels high vibed is because of this sure simple fact, the chariot again. Cancerian, something arrives, nine of wands, but someone's gonna be a little bit more nervous about that, a little more guarded and cautious. Ace of swords, communication, and there's that 10 of fucking cups. It's like something just cuts right through. That, like this person here is not very open, right? There's like, they're guarded, they could be jaded, but then it's like they just, the energy just cuts right through. It arrives and it just like knocks down all doors and all walls just like that because it's just what it is. The, the connection and the energy is just too fucking strong. The Ace of Swords also has a feeling to it of like, um, like clarity, like clearing something up. You know what I mean? It's like clearing it up. Anyways, let's get into your extended. If you want to rent it, click on that upside down triangle below. It's going to take you to the description page. And there will be a link, okay? You can click on it and it'll take you to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. This is going to be in your Zodiac Intimate Extended sec uh, reading sections because I'm going to do the intimate cards. Um, and also in that description box below is my Patreon link. If you love erotic tarot readings, I do them there. And I also do bonus ones there as well. So go ahead and follow me there as well, okay? Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And do not be duped by the fake people pretending to be me. I would never reach out to you or solicit you or ask you if you want a reading. Those are scammers. I am accepting reading requests, but you must email me, saltwaterhillstarot at gmail.com. And I invoice you via PayPal. I'm also doing Reiki healing sessions as well, just a handful of them, okay? All right, I will see you guys in your extended. Love you.